Brandon and Nathan King, Auburn Undercover. I guess when you guys you talked to us after the game and said you guys felt like you played a lot better, especially on the interior. When yeah. you went back and were able to look at the film, what do you think were the biggest things that y'all did in that game that, that made y'all feel better about your performance? We were a lot more physical and the communication piece, like I said before, and it's like when you know what you're doing, you can go full speed ahead and not think about nothing else because you already know what you're doing. Jason Auburn, 247. What, what was it like to and now that you've had a chance to digest it, to be back at center and to play a full game like that, how much fun was that? It was pretty fun, you know? It's like being the QB of the whole line, you know? Yeah, tell them what to do, so, you know? And then it was also fun to be able to help the team out, you know, when they needed needed me most. And you now I was able to perform, and I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, how, how different and how much more challenging is it when you take it on the road and because of crowd noise, all those things? Uh, it's it's going to be a little difficult, but at the end of the day, once you take out the crowd noise, um, it's Another game, you gotta go up there and play your best. Don't take nothing for granted. Mark, you know, Mark Murphy inside the Auburn Tigers. Uh, looking at Georgia's defense, uh, what do you see that's made them so effective? I believe just them being able to like their third down packages and you know, they got some interior stunts that kind of hinders the run game, but we, we're going to start off fast. You start off fast and run the ball on them and keep them out of their third down packages. Really, we could demolish them, I believe, personally, up front. Hey, Brian, Brian, uh, Brandon, when you look at overall your running game, where do you say your strength is and where do you say you guys can improve the most? Uh, I definitely say when it comes to the backside of the blocking schemes, I feel like the backside of our run game, we can improve more. But as soon as we get it front side, I think it's over because we get the push and we fix the backside problem and I, we're going to be more vertical and we're going to get the push we need. Brian. Yes, Brian, uh, Brian Matthews, AuburnSports.com. How do you feel like the interior did with Alec uh, next to you and then uh, Cameron over the side? How do, you, how do you feel like the three guys worked together? Um, I think we did great, and I think the last game could speak for itself. As y'all can see, the push and the line actually playing past the line of scrimmage instead of being pushed back. And I think that was just a big piece. Also goes back to the communication. That every everybody knowing what they're doing on the line, where you can don't have to overthink it. You can just fire straight off the ball. Um, when you earlier said like you guys think you can have success against the Georgia line, what have you kind of seen with your group and their group makes you feel like you could have? Well, uh, because because of right now they don't have that much depth, so you know due to injuries in the interior D line, and the guys that do come out come out, I don't think they trust them. So if we keep them out of third down, where they can't bring packages and keep them main guys on the field, they're just gonna run the ball them all day because they're gonna get tired. How important is it to you guys to bounce back from last week, but also this game against Georgia, considering the rivalry? It's very important. We have the chance to go out there and do something that hasn't been done in a long time, and that's beat Georgia at Georgia. And I believe the last time was in 2005. Um, that'd be a big thing. So our goal is to go in there like a SWAT team, in and out, quiet the noise, beat the behinds and get up. Okay. Brandon, I remember you would talk about how you guys would, when, when Bo was here, you guys would kind of grow in confidence knowing kind of his tendencies, what he would like to do, getting outside the pocket. How much of a difference is just another, another start with Robbie under center, how, how much of a difference does that make for y'all getting confident knowing kind of where his tendencies, what's he, what he likes to do? It's very confident because it's like you, you know what plays you're going to get with him. Like, now I can't speak on it much, but it's like you know the D line start running, it's like you know what's going on. Bam, stay in your blocks because he's going to make something happen. And I have, he's, he's fast as crap. He's so fast. So I, I trust him. We trust him back there, especially we give him like we did last week. We protect him long enough, he's going to make something happen. Yeah, uh, Jacob Shames, Montgomery Advertiser, um, Brandon. Uh, do you think it's maybe more of an advantage or more of a disadvantage to you know, get Georgia coming off you know, two close games where you know, Georgia probably feels they may not play to their standard? I don't think it's either one. I think it's another game. you got to you know, strap it up and go play your best. We have a chance to be 2-1 and one in the SEC, still competing in the West. You know, I think that's all that's about, and that's our goal. We're going to win. We want to win. And we our goal is to get to the SEC championship. Anything else?